hi you guys so um first of all thank you for watching this video thank you for being a part of my page um and for having patience with me because i know i haven't really been uploading things um any deals or anything like i said i was going to but this year is different um, part of my vision board this year was to grow my stockpile and um I need to work on it so that's the purpose of um these videos from now on i am going to uh record um any deals that i do um you know just a visual visualization of how to go shopping for certain things when using coupons um how i do it where i do it how i get my coupons um what to expect pretty much um so I want to go over, um, first of all, invite you guys to, like I said, follow along. Um, every week I will post um, different deals as far as what's to come for the next week, what coupons are coming out that weekend, what am I going to pair it to, um, even what coupons to pair to a next week sale or whatever the case is. But um, that's going to be the purpose of these videos. Every week we're going to go over um, what to expect, what I want to get when I go to the store. Uh, we're going to go over where to get coupons from. Now, the most easiest, most convenient way that I think for the most part people can get um, their, their weekly inserts would be to get a newspaper. Um, the Sunday paper and the early edition Saturday papers, early Sunday, Saturday edition papers have the Sunday inserts in them already. Um, obviously Sunday does too. So, um, this is where it's just the easiest to get your, um, inserts from. Um, I get the Sunday paper from the Dollar Tree. Um, usually like if you go to a convenience store to like a liquor store or just any other type of store the Sunday papers are like 275 280 something like that um, that's a little bit too much for just the inserts that's in there because that's all we're gonna use it well for me that's all I'm gonna use it for um, I'd rather go to the Dollar Tree spend the dollar get whatever inserts are inside and um, end up paying what like it's 50 cents per insert kind of is a little bit pricey depending on um what coupons are in there but then sometimes we get weeks where the newspaper has four inserts so now you're paying 25 cents per insert so it kind of like really it just depends on the week whether it's a good um, deal on buying the sunday paper if you'd rather um get them in bulk because my i don't know about any other dollar trees but i know my local dollar trees all three of them in my area limit you to just three papers um, a shopping trip, I guess you want to call it. So, um, I used to go to three different Dollar Trees at a time and just buy three papers at a time and, you know, just go by there because they, again, they don't let you buy more than three, but I don't do that anymore. Um, I have, um, know a lady that provides, um, Sunday inserts or well, coupon inserts excuse me and this is what we call coupon fairies um there's plenty online there is um plenty on instagram plenty on facebook i don't have instagram but i know on facebook there's a few pages that you can join and um pay for the service of people providing you those inserts or providing you those clipped coupons which is just like you know an individual coupon not necessarily the whole the whole booklet um so this is this is what we call coupon fairies again i have one if anybody needs any um coupons by you know by fives or tens or whatever it is um i can get you to her and you know she can provide those for you for the most part fairies don't sell just like one insert at a time you have to buy in certain increments they have deals and, and stuff um so you're not i'm not gonna say sell or buy coupons or coupon inserts because that's against the law. It's forbidden. Um, the coupon insert itself says not for resale, um, whatever it says about selling them. You're not really supposed to be selling and profiting off of coupons. Um, so what we do is we're paying these people for their service on providing us these coupons. So we are paying them to pull the inserts out of the bundles of newspapers that they get or to sit there and cut 
hundreds and hundreds of coupons at a time and provide you with them. This is what we're paying for. We are not paying for the coupons itself. Coupons are free. Um, another way to get your Sunday paper, I mean your coupon inserts, would be through your weekly sales paper that comes um, in the mail. I get mine on Tuesdays, um, and it's just the big junk mail um, pe- uh, booklet thing that we get um, with your regular mail once a week. The ones that have like the fast food restaurant coupons, or like the um, sales paper advertisements for the week. Um, those come in the mail once a week, and they come from um, Retail Me Not, and Retail Me Not is one of the insert providers that I use for a lot of my deals. For the most part, Retail Me Not is usually the only insert that I've been getting lately because it's the one that comes in the mail, and for me, they're free right now. I hate spending money on inserts, but if I really, really need them, then I'll go and I'll buy the the um, paper or I'll contact my lady or whatever it is but for the most part I get them for free because I just get them out of the um, the mail whatever from the mail I get them from the mail um, and then there's a post office down the street from my home too where um, they just throw the recyclables into the their little recyclable box like all the different ones so there's times when I'll go in there and I'll just go through it and take out the inserts if there's any in there um, same thing with our mail downstairs we have a little recycling bin I call it a recycling bin um, hubs closet the the trash can but there's literally just papers in there that's how I get my many inserts because people just throw them away you know they go through their mail I don't want this and they just put it in the trash. Ain't no shame in what I do. Sorry, but that's how I get them for the most part. I get them through the mail. Um, uh, that is the same with um, the Procter & Gamble, the P&G inserts. Um, those also come in the mail. Um, they come in your newspaper. And those come out once a week. The Retail Me Nots, for the most part, come out, um, I'm sorry, once a week every Sunday, except major holidays. Sometimes they won't be in circulation. They won't print them or whatnot. But um, P&G comes once a month is what I meant to say, usually at the beginning of the month. And these are the really good high value coupons that have the um, detergents, the um, razor coupons. Sometimes you get like $5 off um, on razors or like the detergent, the Tide, will get like 3 $4 off coupons in the P&G. Just really depends on what the deal is for that week. The P&G is what I use um, at Dollar Tree to get my um, free um, roll of paper towels and um, toilet paper that I get. Um, so those usually come in P&G. They're a dollar off the Scott or the Charmin, and Dollar Tree takes them. So I, I go in. Four coupons at a time, get four items, four of each, and come out paying just tax. I love PNG. Love, love, love PNG when it has those coupons. They don't always come out every month, but when they do, they're really, really good. Um, so that's PNG, that's retail me not. You get them through the mail. Um, the other insert that I want to talk about is called a smart source. A smart source is um usually I've only seen them in the sales newspaper. Um, that we get, I mean, the newspaper that, the Sunday paper, they'll come in, um, in the paper, excuse me. Um, that's for the smart source. Also, I've noticed that, um, like little residential areas, they get like the, um, daily or weekly, um, free newspaper that comes, that people, that they just throw onto the, um, what's it called? Parking lot. I mean, not parking lot, your drive through um, usually residential areas, you know, like the newspaper people that just throw the, the free ones out. Those sometimes have smart stores in them, and I had no idea. So, so that's why I got the smart source um, on the early edition Saturday paper because um, there's a new deal at Walgreens for um, body wash that's coming out um, this week. It starts on Sunday the 19th, um, and it goes until Saturday. Um, but more about that later. Um, so anyway, that's why I got the smart. That's why I went and got my newspaper because I wanted the smart, smart, smart source coupons in there. Um, a different way that you can get your coupons would be through the manufacturer itself. Um, send them an email. Send them a message. Hey, I love your product. Would you happen to have any coupons available? The worst they can do is say no or not even respond. And usually, for the most part, 
two or three weeks from now, you'll get coupons in the mail. They're not going to be, you know, a lot, but you'll get a few from the manufacturer. And they're usually really good coupons. Frito-Lay will send, like, a free bag of chip coupons. Um, Lysol sometimes sends, like, two, three dollars off. Or they'll, they'll send, like, 30 coupons at a time or, like, 25 cents off, a dollar off. Those are good to use at, like, the Dollar Tree. Um... Yeah, Dollar Tree takes coupons. I, I guess I didn't mention that. But those are really good to use at the Dollar Tree because obviously everything's a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And, you know, you use a 25-cent coupon. Why not pay 75 cents for something? It's, you know, you're saving money. Sometimes you even get dollar off stuff and you're getting it for free, paying tax. Um, that's when you ask if the manufacturer sends you stuff. You know, not always. But for the most part, they're really good with, um, they're really good with sending things. Um, I also use coupons.com website to print out coupons um not a lot but for the most part if i don't have enough of um the specific coupon that i want from the insert sometimes they're in the coupons.com website and you can just print them out only thing with coupons.com though is you are limited to two of the same coupon per device so you can do um i know what i've done before was use my phone i've used um my daughter's phone my hub's phone um so that will be a way for me to get you know more than two at a time um you just need a different phone number a different email to sign up for the account or whatnot and you should be able to print it print coupons off of it but again those are just like extras for me at least um if i need any extras that don't come in the, that i and i didn't get enough in the inserts eh, it's rare but yeah sometimes um so that is how you can get your coupons if anybody needs any um again whenever i go out and i plan on doing a deal i am going to specifically state what coupon is needed um when i get coupons I'd rather buy the whole insert 10 at a time, but there is providers or um, even myself too, I can get um, clipped coupons. So if you just want, you know, if you just want like 10 of one specific coupon to do just one specific deal, that's good too. A lot of people do that. Um, but for me, it's just kind of better to just buy the whole insert. It's the same price and you're getting all the coupons at once. Um for the same price for the most part for the most part people just sell the clipped ones 10 for a dollar um the inserts are usually just about the same a dollar each 50 cents each just kind of depends on who your fairy is or where you're getting them from um so yeah so if anybody ever needs any um, i'll be more than happy to provide you with my fairy lady or i could even get them for you um just always, you know, don't ever hesitate to ask any questions when it comes to this coupon thing. I love to talk about it. I love to show people how to do it. It's really exciting for me to go to the store and like, you know, put everything up there that I'm buying. Give my sales, give my store card, hit the pay now button and, you know, hit, give your coupons, pay now. And then everything just starts, starts deducting. It's such an adrenaline. It's so it's cool to see that <laughs> when you're when your um, purchase starts at one price and then it goes down significantly significantly it's it's pretty cool and I love walking out and telling my daughter oh my god look we got this for free or where they paid us to get this or you know stuff like that but it's really exciting it's a lot of fun um, so I hope that I kind of explain things um, the right way for you guys to understand um, I hope that you guys follow me and learn a thing or two about um, saving money. As far as like when you know, with household essentials, I can't. I don't know how to save save money for the life of me. But when it comes to um, buying things and like bargain shopping, I'm the one to go to. I love to bargain shop. Um, so yeah, so I hope you have learned something today. Um, want to show you guys. Um, one scenario that I'm going to do. I plan on going to Ralph's later. Um, we're going to go to Ralph's and we're going to go to Walmart today. So um, at Ralph's, we are going to use this degree deodorant coupon um, that expires the 19th today or Sunday, the 19th. Um, and I'm only doing this today just to kind of show you guys an example of... Um, 
what I do or um, how I do it. Only because the coupon expires really, really soon. These are no longer available. Um, although some stores do take expired coupons two weeks after the fact, um, up to two weeks after they have expired, I don't, I don't really care to use them. Um, sometimes they beep and then the, the cashiers are really iffy about it. You know, they give you attitude. I'd rather not fight. I'll just leave it alone. But anyway, this is why I'm doing this one because this is about to expire. Um, uh, Ralph's has a sale right now on degree deodorant. Um, the plan is to go and buy um, six uh, tubes of deodorant, six sticks of deodorant. Use three of these coupons because each coupon you have to buy two um, deodorants with it and come out with come out paying tax. That's the plan. It's just paste six pay tax on just six sticks of deodorant with this coupon. So just a little example. I'm just going to go over um, kind of what the coupon is all about, you know. So these specifically I got from um, the Retail Me Not that came in the sales circular in my mailbox. Um, these, these, the Dove, Suave, um, Degree, all the, all the un, Unlever, un, something like that. Um, so these are always readily available. On top of that, um, the sales at Ralph's, these come around, they literally just circle the sales all the time. These sales come around every single month, every two months, whatever it is, you can definitely pair up your coupons for the sale that's coming up. So all of we won't be able to do this, or any of you guys will be able to do this, um, specific one, you know, within this week or whatever, I just want to show how it's done and you know what what I'm doing what the whole point of this um, video is so when you look at a coupon it's gonna give you um, an expiration date it's gonna give you a picture of what it can be used on um, it's for the most part all of them have the picture um, it's gonna have also an explanation if there's any exclusions in the coupon it's going to tell you um, how many you can use at a time um, and then it goes on to explain to the retailer, you know, how to redeem the coupon for compensation. So I'm going to tell you something, a little secret about couponing. Okay. Sometimes things scan, sometimes coupons scan, coupons scan for things that are not pictured, but it's still the same type of item from the same manufacturer. This is my understanding of balanced couponing, okay? Again, the reasons for these videos is for me to learn. We're continuing learning. Um, and in order for me to continue understanding this and doing this, I want to explain it to others the way that I know it so I can retain it better and understand it better for myself and hopefully help you guys at the same time. And, you know, we have a stockpile at the end of the year. Um, anyway, so back to what I was saying. Sometimes coupon scan at certain stores for things that they are not mentioned on the coupon. I want to say that the right way without sounding bad. So, for example, this specific coupon, when you read it, it says save $4 on any two Dove, Dove Men in Care degree or degree men dry antiperspirant products. So when you read that, you read it right away, whatever, you look at the picture, it's hard to see, but the picture is like the sprays, the, the deodorant sprays. That's what the picture is on here. And it does at the end specifically say dry spray antiperspirant product. However, when I read this coupon, I read it as on any two Dove, that's one item, Dove Men in Care, that's another item because there's a comma. Then there's a degree or degree men dry antiperspirant products. Okay, well, when I just read that coupon, I'm assuming that I can use it on any two Dove deodorants or any two Dove Men in Care degree. I mean, Dove Men in Care or any two degree or any two degree men dry spray antiperspirant product. This is how I read the coupon. This is why I am going to go to Ralph's and use this specific coupon on the sticks of deodorant. It does not exclude them in the coupon. The only thing that it excludes is the trial and travel sizes on here. For the most part, 
every single coupon manufacturer coupon says excludes trial and travel size. That's just usually the little small sample things um, at the stores that, um, like Walmart has like a whole little traveling section, the little travel size stuff. You can't use those on there. But when I read it, I I guess I can use it on the degree um, sticks, right? So Ralph's has a sale this week where um, you buy six items six specific participating items and you get 50 cents off each item so in turn you're getting three dollars off you spot you buy six specific things you're getting three dollars off so the sticks of my deodorant the sticks of deodorant right now my understanding is they are um 249 with the sale buy six say 50 um 50 cents each um it comes down to two dollars to two forty nine you say fifty cents it comes down to one ninety nine which is why I'm gonna be able to use this save four on it when buying two because I'm gonna get two two is gonna cost me what three ninety eight four dollars whatever and I'm going to use this four dollar off coupon on two and in, and in turn get these deodorants for free that is the plan that is what we're gonna go to Ralph's today to do um, I just want to show you guys you know, it's not, not every store allows that. Not every store, it won't scan at every store um, like this. Um, Walmart used to be a store like this, what we call a cold friendly store. Um, but Walmart no longer is a cold friendly store. I do know that Ralph's, which is a Kroger affiliate, which includes Food for Less, uh, Publix, Fred Meyer, so many more others, but those are the only ones that I really know. Those are Kroger affiliates. Those are um, code friendly stores, which just basically means the code that the, where is it at? The code right here that the coupon has, if you match it to the barcode on your item, it will scan for that item. I hope that makes sense. So there's even times when the barcode matches, um, for example, I believe it's the tied coupons or the gain coupons that barcode matches with huggies products so people will go in and use the tied coupons on the huggies without buying huggy i mean without buying tied or vice versa or whatever it is that that is a little different than the balancing that i'm talking about when we're using it on the same type of uh, product same manufacturer this other other form of couponing where it scans for just like random stuff that's called glittery unfortunately that's frowned upon in the um coupon world um but with me and my understanding and the way that it was explained to me by other couponers and um you know after reading policies and reading rules and stuff um if it scans it scans that's just how i see it if i give you a coupon and you scan it and it takes it off take it off accept it why not you know the store is still going to get paid for that item. The store is still going to get face value of the coupon plus whatever extra they get. As long as the store normally carries that item in stock that's on the coupon. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So, let's say for example, again, I'm going to go use a degree on Ralph's. But Ralph's doesn't even sell these dry antiperspirants. They don't sell them or they don't sell anything that's on the written on the coupon. Um, if I go and use it, but they don't sell it, but it still scans, then somehow it flags the system and then it, they don't get reimbursed for it. And um, that's why it's frowned upon because people feel like, you know, you're cheating the system, you're using the coupon on something it's not intended for. Um, I don't usually do that. Sometimes I do, depending on the item, depending if I really want it or if I really need it. Um, unfortunately, when we go to Walmart later, I realized that we are going to be doing a little bit of glittering. Um, but that's, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother subject we're not going to get into. Um, but again, if you want to follow me, I'm going to, a lot of my stuff, well, all of my stuff is going to be legit. I'm not going to be cheating anybody. I'm not going to, um, not going to have you out there stealing stuff. That's just not how I roll. <laughs> um, I'm going to make sure I do it first. I'm going to make sure it works before I even, um, post my conclusion videos, you know, but so I finally made it to Ralph's. Um, I am going to try the degree um, 
deodorant coupons I mentioned earlier in the video. Um, so my plan is to come in, buy six, six deodorants at a time, um, three men, three women, and just pay tax on it using the four off two coupons that I have. So as the tag reads, the deodorant is usually um, normally $3.49. It's on sale for $2.49, but then if you pair it with their buy six, save 50 cents each, it comes out to $1.99. So it's the same deal here for the um, men's degree. The men's degree has different the time. Um, Ralph's takes up to five of the same coupon, um, but for some reason these only scan up to three. The coupon itself, it said this coupon itself says um, a maximum of two identical coupons allowed in the same tra shopping trip. So technically, the manufacturer only wants you, wants you to use two of them. But if the store doesn't mind, they'll take as many as their policy states. At Ralph's, again, they take five of the same. But um, I don't know why for this deal, um, it only takes three at a time. So I'm going to do three. Each one gives me two. Three times two is six. So we're going to do six deodorants and um, hopefully just be tax. All right, so... We're back. <laughs> um, we just got back from Ralph's and the um, Walmart. Um, so it was a it was a successful shopping trip because we were able to come up with nine do uh, ten dollars and six cents is what I spent. Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. Ten dollars and six cents is what I spent. I got a total of eighteen of these deodorants. Eighteen of these. We got a total of seventeen of these little Vaseline lip therapy things. We got um, a three pack of these little um, pumpkin spice chapsticks. Um, I also got um, two bags of potato chips. And I got um, a little poopsie toy thing that my daughter wanted um, all in this shopping trip. So that was $10.06 total for everything. Um, so I'm going to say this one thing. Um, with the Vaseline, this is where I did the glittering. So um, the Vaseline at Walmart is $1.68, okay? Okay. A coupon came out in the um in the retail me not a couple weeks ago in the unlever I un unlever I don't even know how to pronounce that word unilet whatever the hell it is um into the retail me not a coupon for Vaseline lotion sixteen ounces or higher came out um in the same insert as the as these um it's through the retail me not it, it's for vas it specifically says on the coupon Vaseline um lotion or vaseline hand lo therapy lotion something like that it doesn't exclude anything um all it excludes is a travel and trial size but it doesn't exclude it doesn't say anything else it just says vaseline lotion and it has a picture of the vaseline pump lotion bottles however it's part of the same manufacturer vaseline same company same whatever it is that two dollar coupon scans for this one dollar and sixty eight product, meaning you get back a thirty two cent difference on your items. At Walmart, you're allowed overage, what they call overage. So that is when something costs one thing, you use a coupon for it. The coupon is more than the value of the thing you are now receiving overage, whether it's towards the rest of your items, which is what I did today, or you can get that cash back. That causes a lot of attention. That has you, the managers looking at you like, well, what the hell are you doing? Because a lot of the times they don't understand how couponing like really works and stuff. So they really give you a hard time. I like to avoid that, but I have seen some people go in with like, different coupons that give overage on things um and they're coming out with gift cards of 50 60 bucks on on the gift card like it's crazy how people work these coupons i've never done that before but i have done a little bit of the glittering and got in um for example this right here i got the vaseline lip balm using the lotion um coupon 
it scans just fine. You know, you, you scan your item, scan the coupon. I like to use self-checkout just because I like to look at my dis, uh, at the screen when I do my purchases. And I don't know, it's that adrenaline part for me. I enjoy self-checkout all the time. But if you just go to the cashier, a lot of the times at Ralph's, um, uh, you can't do your own coupons at Ralph's. So I don't even care there. I'll just go to the cashier and you just give them the coupons. They'll scan it. They don't even look at it. They don't even read it. The only time they look and read it is when it beeps. And it beeps because it's not valid or it's not for that product. Or even sometimes it is for that product. But for some reason, that coupon is not working right. Um, so, again, this goes back to using a lotion coupon on the lip therapy. Um, if I were to go to Walmart, I would get my stuff. They would scan it. I just hand my coupons. Usually, when it's like the younger kids, um, people that don't really seem to care, they don't even read it. They don't even look at it. They just scan it. If it scans, they put it away, and then that's it. You're good to go. There is times when they'll come, and they'll read every single word on it, and they'll be like, well, wait a minute. This is for lotion. You don't have no lotion. How are you using it for the lip therapy? Well, it scans. If it scans, it scans, you know? But a lot sometimes you can get away with it. Sometimes you can't. Um... So this is what I did today. In turn of me using that $2 off coupon on these, um, that overage went towards my other items, which is exactly why I got a bag of chips. Um, I did like four different transactions. Um, oh, and that's another thing too. When you do big hauls, at least for me, um, I've seen other people have trouble with it too. When you do big hauls at Walmart, if you're using self-checkout, Limit yourself to just a few coupons. There is a um, a dollar amount threshold that I think it's like $45 worth of coupons or $50 worth of coupons. Um, that threshold will call over for a CSM or for a manager or something. Um, and then that's when they want to review every single one. Make sure that you have the exact same product. Um you're, you know, it, it even though it doesn't exclude it on there, they will give you a hard time and be like, wait, you're not supposed to be using them. But it, but it doesn't exclude the dry stick deodorant. Why can't I use it? It says any degree men. Why can't I use it on the degree dry stick deodorant? You know what I'm saying? So it just really kind of depends on who the um, cashier is or the manager is. Um, but a lot, but again, that, that comes back to me saying I did several little small transactions Um and then on top of that, too, it helps me know what cashier to go to next time or um, who to look for that's working next time. Um, that's what you call a unicorn. Um, if you have a unicorn at a store, that is amazing because they won't even care. They just scan it and they let you go. They just want to get it done. Who cares? You know, I know a few people um, at self-checkout at different Walmarts that don't even care. They just... They just scan the coupon and um, you're good to go. So I try to go to them all the time. Not that I'm doing anything wrong, but I don't want to cause any attention to myself or like I don't want them asking me any questions or like I hate explaining things to people, um, especially when they work there and they believe that they know what they're talking about. 99% of the time, they do not know what they're talking about at all. I've had so many issues with like, Prime example, if I read this coupon, it says limit one coupon per purchase on product quantity specified and maximum of two identical coupons allowed in same shopping trip. That specifically says limit one coupon per purchase means one coupon per item. Every single one individual item is a purchase so I can use this coupon on one item I can use this coupon on well this would be two items because this is coded for two but you get what I'm saying if it's for one item then you need to use it for one each individual one up to two in the same shopping trip meaning I can go and use two in the same shopping trip but it has to match up for that one specific item I cannot use one coupon if it's only for one, I cannot use it on two items. You get what I'm saying? Um, so that's where the trouble comes in when they go in and try to read it. Well, it says you can only use one. That's why it beep. You can only use one. No, that's not what it says. It says I can only use one per purchase of the same um, coupon. So I can use these two. I can use the other two. And I can use the other two that I have. Because it says a maximum of two identical coupons. So I can use two of the same, however many other ones that I have. 
but for this one two of the same one per purchase i hope that makes sense i hate explaining that to people at the store because they really give me a hard time with it and then that's when i say okay fine i'm breaking up my purchases so what, what are they gonna do oh no you can't buy more than one thing why not you can't stop me you know i'm paying money or whatnot i'm buying stuff so that's just an example of um cashiers giving a hard time I've, I've gone through that so many times and then at the end you'd be like well let me talk to a manager the manager comes and oh wait she's right blah, blah 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 whatever i know i'm right so again that is um i rambled on that i remember what i was talking about so yeah so that goes back to um let's go back to the vaseline coupon so we use that overage towards the rest of our items i got the two bags of chips the chapsticks and then her poopsie little toy thing um and it was like ten dollars and six cents for everything everything all together however i am going to deduct five dollars from that ten because um her poopsie doesn't count that was just a clearance thing that she saw while we were walking out of walmart and um she really wanted it it was only five bucks and i said fine I, had already, I was already done with Walmart, but I wanted to go and get more of the Vaseline. I was going to go to a different Walmart anyway. Um, and I said, fine, if you want the little poopsie toy, let's go in and try to use the coupons for it. And that's what I did. We went in. I got 10 of the, I mean, five of these little um, Vaseline things. I used five of my $2 off coupon. Um, I think that gave me like, I don't know, like 2 or $3 in overage. I didn't really do the math for that just yet. But that paid towards her little poopsie thing. For that, um, that transaction itself, that transaction itself, I got five of these little Vaseline things at $1.68 each. Her poopsie toy was $5. I used the five, the $2 off coupons, and I only paid $4.50. Of that, $1.11 was just tax. So pretty much $3.40 is what I paid for her little toy thing. So the coupons gave us... Um, uh, three, four, a dollar sixty in overage, which went towards her little poopsy little slime, stupid thing that she wanted. She really, really wanted it. So since it worked, why not? You know, I've seen so many people online come out with hauls and hauls and hauls of stuff because they use um the overage coupons. There is a lot of them out there that um you can use, like the high value ones. There's some high value ones that you can use on like. Um, one or two dollar um, items for example i know there is a um, blue buffalo coupon out right now for um, five dollars off a dry bag of dog food but you can use those on the um, dollar cans i think the cans are like a dollar 20 something so that gives you like three or four dollars in overage and you know people go in use four or five coupons at a time and then pays for the rest of their purchases i hope to try that one day not yet um i want to be more um knowledgeable of like um how it actually works or like um how to explain it more to the cashier if they question well why are you using the dry dog food on the wet food you know i i don't know i just haven't i haven't tried it but i know it works i know people do it um i just kind of i guess for myself i just need to work up the courage to you know do a big shopping trip using just like the coupons like that um i will eventually just right now we're starting slow that is the point of this video um that brings me that brings me to say i am going to um set myself a limit whenever i go couponing i'm gonna give myself twenty dollars whenever i have an extra twenty dollars to spend I am going to give myself $20. With that $20, I am going to go buy um, whatever the sale is that's coming up or what whatever it is that, that I want to get um, with the coupons that are coming up. So with my $20 for this week, I have already spent $5 on my um, deodorants and the chapsticks. Um, I already spent $5 on that. So that leaves me with $15. That $15 we are going to use on next week's um, sale at Walgreens for the body wash. Um, we have to go and get the Smart Source, the Sunday, January 19th edition um, of the Smart Source um, coupon inserts. There is the $0.75 cent off um, body wash coupon that we need for Walgreens. So with Walgreens... Um, 
just a little um, insight on Walgreens. I like to shop at Walgreens because when you make certain purchases, they sometimes have certain deals where you make certain purchases and you get points back as a um, bonus, a reward, whatever it is. So they're basically paying you to buy stuff um, and then whatever points you get, you can turn around and buy more stuff with it and get more points back. So it's just like a, 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 um, a continuous thing with Walgreens. I love shopping at Walgreens. Although sometimes their stuff is a little too expensive for me. Um, if I have coupons and if it's a good deal and I know how to work it right, Walgreens is my go-to. Um, so the plan with Walgreens is going to be to continue shopping there this, this year for um, 2020. We're going to continue shopping at Walgreens. We're going to learn um, their policy, their coupon policy. Walgreens is one of those all-scan stores. So as long as the, um, I'm sorry, not all scans, cold friendly stores, as long as the barcode number matches the UPC product number, it should scan. Again, it's not for all items. It's not for every store. But Walgreens is one of those stores. Walgreens, Ralph's, which is a Kroger affiliate, and Family Dollar. Those are three main stores three of the main stores that we're going to be shopping at the other ones are going to be um, walmart because walmart has their prices obviously are super low and you can use coupons on top of that um and then a lot of their stuff goes on clearance right now a lot of their christmas stuff is on clearance they're like the leftover christmas toys which is why she got that poopsie yesterday um target i like to shop at target because um target you can match up the coupons to their um gift card return sales so like sometimes they'll have um buy four deodorants um buy four deodorants get back a five dollar five dollar gift card so if we go in sometimes your target is a little bit more expensive so you're gonna be in this and end up spending money anyway um so like for example i know there was a deal um where you buy four of something and it costs like six something for all four after you use the coupons and the, the whatever sale they were having well they're giving you back a five dollar gift card so go back and buy four more of whatever use that gift card to pay for it pay the difference of a dollar two dollars whatever it is and get back another gift card and just keep on you know repeating that transaction this is how you can grow your stockpile um for certain things quickly you know um so that's going to be the plan we are going to do um some money saving this year um some stockpiling of essentials that we may need um and even sometimes if it's sometimes if some stuff we don't like, do I really need what is it? 18 sticks of deodorant right now. But come on, when 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 will I ever go to the store, use coupons, get six things of deodorant at a time and only pay 93 cents every time? Like wh when is that even possible? Like when are you going to be able to do that? Never. So why not get it now? Have it put away. And never need to go to the store and buy a stick of deodorant again. Because you already got a stockpile in your cabinet. Or wherever you keep your stuff. That's where my stuff is at. In my cabinet. Um, so that's the plan. Even if we don't need it right then, right that instance. Hubs is going to get mad. But if it's on sale, I need it. I need to buy it. I, that's just my model. He hates it when I do that. Just because it's on sale it doesn't mean you need it. Well, yeah, it does. I'm going to need it eventually. I'd rather buy it now than pay full price for it later because right now I'm either getting it for free or paying half to nothing on it. So that's the plan, you guys. I really hope that you can follow me or at least just watch my videos. Um, comment and give me some insight on what you want to know, um, what you would like to learn because at the same time, I want to learn too. I want to be able to do... Um, I want to be able to do this and, you know, um, get my stockpile going. I'm just rambling on them. But thank you so much for watching my video. Um, if you have any questions, any comments, please feel free to um, comment on this video. Um, oh, wait, before I go, I do want to say um, I am going to post links to different rebate apps that we're going to use. Um, I'll go more in depth. In a different video about these rebate apps but um it's just it's just basically us um signing up for these rebate apps and then getting money back for our items that we bought for ibotta is a really popular one a good example um 
so with Ibotta, um, they sometimes have certain things that give you money back if you purchase them. Um, and all you have to do is scan your receipt. They'll have you scan the barcode just to verify it or vice versa. They'll have you scan the barcode, but then you have to scan your receipt to verify that you actually did buy it. Um, and then they give you money back on your account, on your Ibotta account. And once you hit a certain threshold, send it to PayPal, send it to a Visa card. You could even um, use it to buy gift cards to different restaurants, gift cards to different stores through the Ibotta website. Um, so yeah, so that's gonna be the different links that I'm gonna be posting in this video. Um, we're gonna be using Ibotta, we're gonna use Checkout 51, we're gonna use Fetch Rewards. Fetch Rewards is a really good one. I really like Fetch Rewards. I haven't, um, I haven't been using it a lot because I just learned about it, so, I'm teaching you as I'm learning with the Fetch Rewards. And Fetch Rewards, I know all you have to do is scan your receipt and you get a certain number of points um, depending on what you bought. I don't know how they distribute the points, but however they do it, you get a certain number of points. Once you reach a certain amount, that's when you can um, send it to yourself, whether it's in a form of a gift card um, or... Um, buying stuff online, even Amazon gift cards, I think they have. So yeah, so that's going to be the different rebate apps that we are going to have to get. Um, Ibotta, Checkout 51, Fetch Rewards. Um, I think those are the only three that I'm going to post right now. Those are the only three that I have. Those are the only three that I'm going to post right now. So um, before I move on to recording my next video, I'm going to ask you guys, if you're really serious about this and if you really want to follow me and help me learn for my own good, but teaching you guys at the same time, um, let's start off by downloading these apps that we're going to need. We're definitely going to need the Ralph's app or Kroger affiliate if you have a Kroger's around you, which is, again, Food for Less, Publix, um, Fred Meyer, just Google it. It'll tell you, it'll bring up all the different little affiliates. So get the app for that um, store. Get the Target app. Family Dollar is really, really good. I love Family Dollar. It's too far for me, so I don't really shop there a lot. But um, this year, I'm going to make it a point to get to Family Dollar because they have a lot of really good deals digital deals at Family Dollar. I like using Family Dollar because it's all digital. You you don't even need the paper coupons. It's so much easier for people. Um, sometimes I just, you know, I, I will add all the digital coupons and um, um, just go to the store and, you know, get everything without even having to need the papers um, because everything is done digitally through Family Dollar. Although you can use paper coupons at Family Dollar, um, the type of sales that they have, it's just so much easier and so much better, um, cheaper to, to use the digitals. So let's do that. Download Family Dollar. Download, um, did I say Walmart? Walmart is just going to be used to scan. Walmart doesn't really have app, um, coupons on their website or anything. It's just an informational app. Um, you can scan it. You can scan different items and it'll tell you what the price is for that store. A lot of the times, the price that's on the shelf isn't really the price. It's cheaper than that. Um, so that's what we're going to use Walmart for. Um, what's another one? So we got Family Dollar, Ralph's, Walgreens is, um, we're going to definitely need Walgreens app. Um, and the Walgreens app is just so that we can keep track of our points. Oh, no, sometimes they do have digital coupons, and then they have point boosters at Walgreens, too, that you can use. Um, it's so complicated. It's so much stuff. Um, I just hope that you guys understand what I'm talking about. I hope I didn't ramble on too long, and I explained everything. Um, I hope I explained everything correctly and to your understanding. If you have any questions, if you want to know anything, if you want to start getting coupons, um whatever it is please comment on my video um i'll be more than happy to answer questions i'll be more than happy to go shopping with anybody i love to go shopping when i'm couponing if you're too scared to do your first little haul by yourself call me i will be there with you i will hold your hand i will explain everything to the best of my knowledge the way i understand it um thank you so much for your support in this new journey that I'm trying to accomplish. I hope that um, you can follow along with me. And